Hey, this is Kevin from Breakdance. In this video, we're going to go over how to create multi-level menus with tab elements. You can also use advanced tab elements for this, but we're just going to keep it two tabs in this example. With the header template already open, we're now going to add a header builder element. We're just going to use the Samba design set. So we'll click plus add library. And then in the header section of the Samba design set, we're just going to go ahead and select one and add it to our page. Next, we'll add a tabs element and I'm going to use the Samba design set again. Under the tabs, we already have a nice vertical tabs element here, so we're gonna go ahead and add that to the page. And then we're gonna select the menu builder and add a new menu custom dropdown element, move it to the top of our menu builder, and remove the current elements in there. And we're gonna move our tabs element into the custom dropdown we just created. We can now delete this section because we no longer need it. Then for the menu custom dropdown, we're gonna add some width to it because if you look right now, we'll see that it's a little tight. So we'll go ahead and set our width to 80 vertical width. And now we can see the tabs element looks nicely and displays nicely. You can set the tabs element to open on hover, which could be nice for desktop users because then they don't have to click anymore. They can just scroll over and see the content. For brand new tabs elements, you're going to want to make sure that the vertical tabs is selected. You could do horizontal tabs as well, but vertical tabs will give us that nice layout we want in this video. So let's go ahead and save our changes and view this on the front end. We can now see our custom dropdown with our concepts, and this is just changing on hover. Again, you could also make it so that users have to click it. And you can also use advanced tabs to display more advanced elements and column layouts.